Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and we're on the sixth day of Christmas. Let's see what surprise day six has for us. Just poke your finger and then and gently pull back. Ooh, it's a die set and he looks like a gnome. See that little beard? Love, I'm already in love. Okay crafters, so I zoom the camera down, day six, it's a gnome, a cute, adorable gnome. I can already tell, look at his little body. Oh, love, he has a little star. There's his beard. Oh, this is a, yeah, detailed die set, look at that. There's his shoes, see I learned now, shoes. <laughs> Those are not birds. <laughs> That's his gloves, that's his nose. Here's his hat. So with the hat, you can do that dot detail if you want, you can keep it solid or Pop that drop in, and then there you have that detail. Polka dots. And you can piece in the dots that pop out too. Oh, and he gets a little flower. That's the leaf for your flower. A little star, and I guess that's the center for the flower. And up here, he has a, looks like a star with that little um, reflection shine. That little bit right there. And this now, oh, it's like a balloon. He's holding it. Oh, I get it. You see it? You see it? That is cute. With the happy birthday, right? Oh, yes. There's a plan. Let's get started. Okay, crafters. Here is my make. It's a A2 card. A little bit oversized. Like maybe a quarter of an inch over. I was having fun with my little Nomi. There's my Nomi put together. It does come with that balloon, so this became a happy birthday card. And this is just my little personal challenge with myself. I wanna see if I can mix and match these Advent days with each other. And so here I have day four, that beautiful happy birthday. Again, with that flower frenzy 3D embossing folder. Did you guys see this one? Oh, love, love, love. This oversized embossing folder is just so good. Five and a half inch wide. Eight and a half inch tall. This one will use the universal plate system. Here she is in white. So in the last card that you saw it on, same happy birthday. Look how it looks completely different once you change your colorway, right? Different feeling. But that's it in a navy blue. Here it is in white, more muted than the happy birthday. Glitter there, this time foil here. I did not put um, gems on the outside. I might do that though. What do you guys think? Maybe I should. But I like how it's sort of, you know, busy-ish here, so I didn't want to go too much more by putting more stuff on it because I still want him to be the focal point and the happy birthday because there's a lot going on with this beautiful embossing folder, right? I think it's just so beautiful, though. And notice these new florals. I got some new flowers from Spellbinders. This is actually not a new die set, new die set to me that I bought with the Spellbinders Thanksgiving sale. Aha! <laughs> and you notice... If you look at that edging, notice how it's reminiscent of this embossing folder. You know I'm loving that. And it comes together very well. So we'll talk about it because it's over here on the side in a second. So here's a little Nomi, right? At first, I was thinking more spring. You cut his body out. So you cut a base of his body. Then you start building up from the clothes. So what I did here, I built up from the clothes, then went with everything else. And with the hands, you could change this here to have like a, like a mitten on his hands or a glove. This is more like all year round. I was thinking of this blue, but it was competing with all the florals. So I decided to not use that paper, but I'm still keeping it because I can make this gnome again and change it up. And instead of doing a gray beard, notice how I did a brown beard. I think he's adorable. Let's talk about this flower now because this floral die set did put together this wreath that I created with it and the flowers, okay? See it right there, it's called the Petite Floral Potpourri. And I believe this is designed, there it goes, Becca Fecan, Amazing Grace. Super cute little die set, was on sale and had a great price point during the sale. So I will definitely be putting a link for this. It comes with all these floral sets and I love that. The little buds here, one set, another set. Notice how you see large and small together. It's all organized too for you. Some of these I didn't even use. I didn't use these, I used this. I think I used one, two, three, four styles here. That's the leaf that I turned. This is four of it. So it's like, you know, one, two, three, four. And that made the wreath. And then those are centers, but for my centers, I did use Spellbinders 
gold mixed gems. Oh, I just love I this. I came stuff. up with this idea of this whole brown. For some reason, I'm thinking the brown is spring. Don't ask me why. I just think it's spring to me, even though it's brown. <laughs> Maybe it's all the wood. <laughs> and I cut a bunch of coral color cardstock in different shades. You see it? Like a light coral, a deeper coral, and a mid coral. And this is like the dies cut, and then I played with it. This is the die set up close. See how pretty that is? And all these flowers are to accent my gnome. Originally, my idea was to do this. You know, on your card, I'm only showing you just, if you think that this one is like it needs something else, let me show you where I was gonna put the something else, okay? I was gonna do, let's say one, and I like to keep stuff in threes. One, two, mm, let's do that mid one. I was gonna do like a little cluster here. So that could have been another option too. But for some reason, I wanted my focus to be right here and I didn't want that. But if you like that, definitely go for it. Cause I think that's cute too. You know, here and here with the cluster with the birthday, bring that happy down here. But I like the happy up here and then the birthday here. Cute, cute, cute. And then the balloon here, that's in a light gold, foil cardstock and then this is a super light almost champagne gold color cardstock that's why I think it works so well against the brown ooh ooh are you feeling day six because I certainly am mixed in with a little bit of day four day four happy birthday day six gnome and then again with this beautiful embossing folder I'm telling you this flower frenzy she is just fine Bulus. Now, normally I would have done over here with the Be Bold Blooms, but sometimes when you want just something, you know, small, look at that. Even on this one, it could have worked. In, but it's a smaller cluster. It's the sizing, how you want your sizing. But this embossing folder works either way. The gnome, I think that's why I wanted my florals to be smaller is because of the gnome. Because the gnome size, he's a little guy. He's a cutie patootie, but he's a little guy. He is... Two and a quarter inch tall, okay? But super duper cute. So you see it's a little bit oversized from an A2 card. Alrighty, crafters. So that's my December 6th video. So until the next day, December 7th, stay crafty, my friends. I hope you're enjoying this series because along the way, you know, I hope you're seeing that I am showing you that if you did get this advent calendar, there are opportunities to really stretch this die set and add it to your stash of existing dies. It's not just a one and done. Also, if you didn't get the advent calendar and you're loving what you're seeing, then you get ready for next year so that when it drops, you order yours before it's sold out. Alrighty. Okay, crafters, until the next video. Bye.